Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1650 Super paired with an i5-9400F on 20 games. To skip to any of those in the list, check the timestamps down in the description or the pinned comment. Before starting, some things to mention. I didn't tweak anything in the BIOS, there's no overclock, nothing like that. I only set the RAM to the maximum allowed by the motherboard. All the games in this list will be tested on 1080p using different settings. Just keep in mind that some games will be targeting 144 FPS and the other ones targeting 60. The ones targeting 144 will be competitive titles such as Apex Legends, Fortnite, PUBG, CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege. That means that I'll lower the settings trying to get over 144 FPS or as close to that as possible. Other games like Battlefield 5 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 won't be targeting 144 since the CPU is not fast enough to do so and reducing the settings usually didn't get us there super easily, so those are the two exceptions in the competitive titles. And then again on the other games my target will be 60 frames. And what am I thinking about this? Well at the end of 2019 I have to say that for next year I recommend having more than 4 cores on your CPU if possible. More and more games are starting to recommend more than 4 threads. As an example Red Dead Redemption 2 when it was just released had terrible stuttering issues on 4 core CPUs. And another game that is not in this list is Detroit Become Human. It has a lot of stutters on CPUs that have less than 6 threads. So yeah, considering some of the big games I tested this year, if possible I'll try to go for something with more cores. A first gen Ryzen 5 1600, 2600, 3600 if you have the extra cash. I think that will make it last way longer considering what we're getting with the games right now. And I also follow this logic thinking that the next gen consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, we have CPUs with pretty high core counts, so this should be a good recommendation so your build lasts longer. And on the GPU side, the 1650 Super runs pretty much like a 1066GB, but has better compatibility with newer APIs such as the Vulkan and DX12. Unfortunately, we only have 4 gigs of VRAM as an option, which is pretty unfortunate, the games are using more and more VRAM as time goes on and I'm seeing them really close to 4GB of usage in many of them. Other than that, I think it performs pretty well for the price. And one last thing, if you're planning on building a PC like this, make sure that the RAM is on dual channel so you get the best performance out of the system. If possible, more than 8GB. Yeah, on many games 8GB is still enough but many of the modern ones are going over 8GB very easily. Buying 16GB of RAM is a good option, 2 sticks of 8GB and you're good to go. But yeah guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time!
operator standing.
Son of a bitch.
Thank you. 